7 JavaScript tips. Starting us off, we've got object destructuring from within inside a function parameter list. All right, so right here, you've got a typical situation where you've got a button, and then you're saying when you click on the button, you want to check for uh, the target's class name and then do something else. So, a typical situation like this when building user interfaces can actually be simplified. So, the main uh, focus of this function here is going to be to grab onto the e event object right up here and then check the dot target property for your class name or whatever it might be. So you can actually go inside the function parameter list here, get rid of the E and instead put curly braces just like this or curly brackets and then specify your, uh, your actual property inside here. So I'm going to say target just like this and as long as this parameter name matches your property inside the event object, it's going to be able to grab onto it directly. So now I can simply just make this if target dot class name and it gives me the exact same effect. Next up, we've got deep copy using JSON, Stringify and parse. All right, so right here we have a person object and as we can see, this has a skills array. And as you guys may already know, um, if you were to try to copy this object, in many cases, you're gonna get what's known as a shallow copy, which means this skills array is gonna reference the exact same array, the actual physical array um, as your initial uh, copy. So you don't actually get a deep copy and it makes an entirely separate array. So you can do this with small objects and arrays using uh, JSON, parse and stringify. So let's hop down here and make a new constant called person copy. This of course is gonna be our copy of this object right here, including a copy of the actual array. So we're going to say here json.parse and now this right here is going to take in a json string. To get this json string, we simply say json.stringify and then pass in here your original object just like this. And now if we do person copy uh, skills is equal to uh, the original person dot skills, this right here is going to give you false and you have an entirely new array of skills right there. Next up, we've got one of my favorites, which is going to be uh, easy defaults using the OR operator. Okay, so right here on the first line, I'm trying to fetch a username using the get username function, which is going to exist somewhere in the application. Now, if this get username function gives me a null value, I'm checking it right down here. If it can't find a username, it's going to default it to be DOM. So DOM is going to be my default username if it can't be found. But but this right here is one, two, three, it's four lines of code and it can actually be simplified to a single line. And it's also going to be using const instead of let. So we can do this by dropping right down here and we're going to say const username is equal to, now we're going to be calling get username once again, but this time we're going to say or and then say DOM right here. So now it's going to try to fetch the username using the get username function. If it gives me a value, great, it's going to use it. Okay, so if it gives me a truthy value, anything more than one or any non-empty string and so on, a truthy value, it's going to use it and stop there. If this function gives me a non-truthy value, things like null, undefined, zero, empty string and so on, it's going to say or and then default to DOM. So a very clean solution to this, uh, you know, four line uh, code right there. Moving forward, we have advanced array searching using the find method. Okay, so right here I have a new array of occupations. Now we all know about the index of method and how we can use it to check, um, you know, if there is an existence of a value inside the array uh, on a perfect match, right? So for example, you can say occupations index of doctor and it's going to tell you the index of it and you know if it's in the array. Now we can actually do a advanced search that even gives you the the ability to provide a function. So let's just say, I want to try and find the first occupation which begins with the letter C. We can do this using the find method. So dropping down here, I'll say const results is equal to, then just say 
occupations.find. Now, this method right here is going to take through a function. This function is going to have the, uh, the value of the current item in the array as the first parameter. I'm going to say O, short for occupation, just like this. Then I'm going to go inside the function body and I'm going to say O dot starts with and then pass through here a capital C. So it's going to go through every single item inside your array and populate the O uh, parameter here with that value as it goes through it. It's going to return true here, the starts with, it's going to return true for O being chef. So it's now going to give you chef as your result. If I do console.log result down here, result is going to be equal to chef. So a very nice uh, way for you to uh, search through an array given a function. This next one is going to be really simple but very powerful, all right? So let's say we have a list of numbers right here and we want to remove the duplicate values from this array, all right? So basically turn this 5, 10, 5, 20 into just a 5, 10, 20. So to achieve this, it's going to be a one-liner. We're going to say const without duplicates is going to be equal to uh, new set. Now, sets are essentially a data structure which only contain unique values. So um, we're going to pass through the array here to the set constructor and it's going to create a new set. Now, because the set only contains unique values, it's going to automatically remove the duplicate values. Now, this right here is going to be a set as we can see. We can convert it back into a friendly array by simply saying array.from then pass through the set right here. I can now simply simply say without duplicates and this right here is going to give me 5, 10 and 20. So very easy but very powerful. Number six is a classic, it's going to be a self-invoking function. So self-invoking functions allow you to assign variables using some complex logic and lines of code. So we're going to say here const some complex uh, value is going to be equal to then start off by using brackets just like this. We're now going to put an arrow function inside here. So we'll say a new parameter list just like this, then drop down here using the arrow function and now we've got a simple arrow function inside here and uh, we've all seen this before and now we're going to simply call that function using the typical double brackets just like that. So now I can add some complex logic inside here and whatever I return that's going to be the value of my constant. All right so we can say something like this where we say const a is equal to otherwise just simply you know return b divided by a whatever it might be. So now um, if I was to run this function of course we're going to get this evaluated right down here. So now some complex value is going to be equal to 2. So that right there is going to be a self invoking function for your complex logic behind your constants or variables. Lastly, we've got array copying using the spread operator. All right, so we can create a simple copy of this numbers array by dropping down here and we're going to say const numbers copy is going to be equal to then using a square brackets right in here. We can say dot 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 then pass through numbers. So now using the spread operator, this right here is going to give you a copy of this array. Now it is going to be a shallow copy. Just keep that in mind. So if you've got objects inside here, they won't be copied, but maybe you can use uh, tip number two for our JSON deep copy for that one. But right here, if you do numbers uh, is equal to numbers copy, you're going to get false. So you're going to get a totally different array to your original right there. And that is all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.